Joe Bonamassa lick for today. It's a quick one using A minor pentatonic, and this uses uh, two parts, uh, two two scale positions. It's using position three and position four. So I'll play the lick, um, and then we'll we'll break it down bit by bit. So the beginning part of the lick, it starts off in box four. So that's your A root pentatonic. It starts on the A string at the 12th fret and it's your fourth position pentatonic. So the first part of the lick, let's just play the first part. Slowly, we're gonna go from the 15th on the high E to the 12th. And we're just gonna basically come down the minor pentatonic and then we're gonna go 15, 13. But that's our minor third on the 13th fret on the B string. So we can give that a little bit of a tweak. And then after we've, on the, after the uh, minor third on the 12th, uh, 13th, we're gonna come over to the 14th fret on the G string with our middle finger. So we're just coming down the minor pentatonic for that part. Fifteen, twelve on the high E, then fifteen, thirteen on the B. Bit of a tweak when you get to that minor third, and then we get the root with our middle finger G string on the fourteenth fret. Then we go back to the minor third, the thirteenth fret on the B, and give it another little tweak. Every time we get that minor third, we give it a little bit of a tweak. Then we go over to the 15th again on the B string and we push that up and what that does, that pushes up to the 5 of our scale. We push up and then up again. And on the second time we push it up we give it a bit of a vibrato. <clears throat> comes back down with a pre-bend so it's a release back to that minor third on the B and then it finishes on the root G string 14th fret with some more vibrato so that first part of the lick so that's the first half just remember whenever you get that minor third just to give it a little bit of a tweak you know, that's a really nice bluesy sort of feel and sound you're gonna get. So when we've bent up to that five, we've done the vibrato, then we do a pick, we pick while it's still pushed up and we bring it down. And then we drop back to that minor third. So that's the first part of the lick. Then he goes into this cool little two note chord. So we're gonna slide in with our, I would do this with my middle finger and my ring finger just like Joe is. So we slide in on the, on the D string to the 10th fret and then we, we're also getting the B string with the 10th fret. So we slide in on the D and then we get the B string and give it some vibrato. Make sure with this, with your middle finger you're muting the G string you can get quite a bit of unwanted noise and then when we've done there we come back we pick the D string again slide back to the ninth fret and then we grab the B string again so 
absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then we slide that up to the 12th fret and do exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So that, that thing all together. Mm -hmm. I think what he's doing there is it's basically you could think of it as um, F major to E to G so that whole thing up to that point one more time And this is a cool bit of a position shifter. So when we finish them little chords, what we do, we, we basically, we could think of this as being in the BB box. First finger on the 10th fret, B string, that's our root. And we're going to pre-bend this 12th fret of the B string a half step. So that is again, we're on this minor third. So we pre-bend and we pull it down slowly. We drop to the root with our first finger. And then we play the G string 11th fret, which is our sixth of the scale. So we're basically bringing in a little bit of major pentatonic there just to, just to brighten it up a little bit. And then some vibrato, first finger on the root, on the B string on the 10th fret. And then the last bit of the lick. the cool bit when he goes back into box four so we're in this uh, BB box you can call it so when we've done that vibrato we're gonna slide up to the minor third with our first finger and then we're gonna go back onto the 15th fret of the B string and push it back up to our E note which is our five So it's a good technique to learn to switch positions with your first finger. Whole thing really slow. Let's play the whole thing through again. a lot so give that some practice if you've got any questions about this lick you can just pop it in the comments and I'll answer best possible so that one's that and I'll give you um, I'll come back tomorrow with another little lesson cheers <laughs>